liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the international... When humans started visiting the space, the first probe to be sent was to Venus in 1962. Next was Mars in 1965, and then Jupiter in 1973. And finally came Mercury in 1974. The closest distance between Mercury and Earth is about 77 million kilometers, making it one of the closest planets to Earth after Venus and Mars. The closest distance between Earth and Jupiter is 587 million kilometers, almost eight times the distance between Earth and Mercury. NASA sent a probe to Jupiter in 1974, twice in 1979, in 1995, 2000, and in 2007. Several missions were launched to Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, but nothing for Mercury in 30 years. Was this because Mercury was not interesting? Or did we discover everything in our first mission? To find out, stick with us to the end of the video. Hi, I'm Roshan, and you're watching Astrophy. Today, we will find out why NASA doesn't visit Mercury. The first mission to Mercury was in 1974, and it was a flyby only, mapping about 40 to 45% of Mercury's surface. There are two main reasons. One is because Mercury is one of the most challenging planets to visit due to its proximity to the Sun. Its surface temperature reaches as high as 430 degrees Celsius. So, any mission that is sent to Mercury need to be highly heat resistant. The second reason is any probe launched towards Mercury will accelerate faster and faster due to the immense gravitational pull from Sun. Slowing down a spacecraft to catch up with Mercury's orbit seems impossible, but everything changed after first mission. In 1985, an orbital mechanic named Chen Wan Yen realized that there was a way for getting a probe into the orbit of Mercury without new technology. Rather than going straight to Mercury, he proposed to go around the solar system so the space probe will get enough time to slow down. Under this proposed plan, a craft will orbit the Sun for 15 times flying past Venus twice, Earth once, and Mercury thrice, and finally slowing down to enter an orbit of Mercury. These flybys to other planet will help slow down the craft by their gravity and atmospheric drag. The total distance would be 7.9 billion kilometers and take seven years. Initially, this model was turned down by NASA due to time and cost, but in 1998, NASA began to take an interest in the model after understanding the feasibility of the route. And in 2004, NASA launched the messenger probe destined to the Mercury. Messenger was only 1.8 meters long and 1.3 meters wide and weighed about 1,100 kilograms. This was quite a small mission in comparison to Juno mission for Jupiter was 20 meters long. Messenger was built with a powerful thruster for course corrections, a ceramic heat shield, two solar panels, and a lot of scientific equipment. The first year after launch, Messenger spent orbiting first orbit to the Sun and met Earth back in orbit. This gave NASA to test its equipment to make sure there wasn't any errors. During the flyby, Messenger took several photos of the Earth and Moon and took some readings of our atmosphere to check its equipment. Fortunately, everything was on perfect shape. In 2006, Messenger did a first flyby of Venus. This time, Venus was on exactly opposite side of the Sun from Earth, which meant there was not radio contact. However, Messenger took some photo of Venus and sent it to Earth later, but did not perform any scientific studies. In 2007, 
It passed Venus again, did some research studies, and then it was on to its main event to Mercury. Messenger made its first flyby of Mercury on 14th January 2008, with everything going smoothly. The second was true for the second flyby, but during the third flyby in 2009, something went wrong. Messenger went to the safe mode, which was designed to save probe in the event of error. How disappointing was the mission to come so far, only to fail during its one of the final stages. However, after several stressful hours, Messenger was back online. During its mission, Messenger had to pass through shadow of Mercury, meaning it had to rely on its battery for 18 minutes. Something wasn't configured well in power management, causing it to go into safe mode. Messenger's computer reset once the power from the solar panel charged the battery and was able to continue its mission. Swinging around the sun for one final time and finally entering the orbit around Mercury on the 11th of March, 2011. Messenger spent four years around Mercury's orbit providing crucial information to scientists. NASA thought Messenger will last for one year and take a thousand photos. However, it took 200,000 photos of Mercury, giving us a complete map of Mercury. In 2014, Messenger's propellant finally ran out. Scientists gave one last boost to probe to extend orbit. But sadly, on 30th of April 2015, Messenger crashed into Mercury. And lastly, if you found any value on this video, consider subscribing. This helps us to make more exciting content in future.